To discover true self, you need energy to change your frame of mind or consciousness so that you can open a door to a destiny you can define. Thanks for joining us on Go Beyond. We have our first guest, uh, Natalie Baker. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you, Ayana. It's great to be here. Well, I have your grandmother here as um, she's been here for a while. Um, what I'm picking up is her acknowledgement of being mother of a mother. And immediately what I'm picking is initial M. Does that make sense to you? Yes, my mother's name is Marlene. She also acknowledges number two, either you have two brothers or two sisters. I have two brothers. She shows me three, but she shows me a, a symbol of, um, I think it's Pluto, with three points, of sharp points. It's on my arm. I have a marking on my arm of three points, of three points on my arm. Three points, that's what she's showing me. <laughs> Amazing. And as well as she's talking about um, Marlene, say hello to Marlene, something about weight, losing weight, needing of losing weight, who's, who's that? My mother. And also she's talking about Scott. Scott? Scottable. Scott. Lots of love comes from her. She's, she's acknowledging um, the pain that you have or you're going through and the pain she's showing me is from behind. Somebody might have done something as like a, a friend shouldn't do, a betrayal, it's, it's backstabbing behind, gossips around. She's worried, she shows me she's coming around, she's worried. Um, things been said or done that made you upset and she's been there with you. And the father, your father is here, alive. Yes. Because there's acknowledgement of a mother of the father, mother of the father coming in. And she's acknowledging the father needs to take tablets. Yes. But he needs to take tablets. Yes. He needs to have his tablets, his medicine, he needs to have it regularly. Yes. Um, something to do with his physical body as well, walking, yes. problem with walking, problem with joints or bones, something like this as well. Yes. She's acknowledging, but she says he's very stubborn. <laughs> That's the yes. it's like I'm getting it. Um, he's very stubborn. There's a, I'm not sure if it's an uncle, brother's, father's brother passed away. Yes. I'm getting father's brother passed away as well, that side. Mother's struggle is not over. Your mother's struggle, her personal growth, her, her struggle is not over. Something to do with, what is to do with psychology with your mom? She's a psychologist. <laughs> okay. She's All right. a psychologist. Something to do with psychology, but it's almost like she needs her own medicine. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what she's, she has been having, experiencing difficulties in the past, emotional experiences mm -hmm. in the past, holding her, she says she needs to relieve release and she needs to move on. June, July comes in as the sixth month, sixth, seventh month. What yes, is that? it's her birthday. Okay. It's her birthday in, ju in June. June. And my father's. Your mom's mom is around you often, a lot. She comes around, especially in the evening. There is a lot on your mind. There is a thought. I'm not sure where you sit. You have been going through. You have been going through emotions mm. recently, and she's been there with you. She shows me a room, quite light, like a. It's not cream, more of a whitey cream color. A mm. light. Mm, very light. She's sitting there. Yes. She was sitting there. She's around you. She shows me that. She moves around. She comes around, and she has this fun, laughter, um, sense of humor yes. uh, as she comes, and she sends lots of love, lots of love to your brothers as well. One of your brother constantly yes. teasing you. Yes. Um, she's saying hello to that brother. Who's the D? Um, D, D initial. Dion. Dion. D. Dion. There's acknowledgement of the D initial being a male figure. Yes. Okay. Is there anything? She's, um, be aware. Yeah. 
lots of love comes from this lady. She's a strong, she's not very big, but she's a strong lady. As a yes. personality comes very strong. And I almost saying, don't mess with my grandchild. I'm here. <laughs> and that's what I'm picking out of her. Lots of love to you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. What Aida said was completely spot on. Everything from my maternal and paternal grandparents to my mother and father, what they were going through, their names, my brothers, um, what I was going through. And it's just wonderful to be able to, through Aida, connect with them in such a profound way and have that comfort of knowing that they're fine and that they're there uh, watching out for you. So what Aida said resonated with me completely. Um, my grandmother acknowledging certain things about me, my mother's nickname for me, Scatterball, um, the three-pointed star of Pluto on my arm was astounding because very few people know about that. And also, I think Aida has an incredible gift in her clairvoyance that can go a long way towards creating awareness and consciousness and also healing and reconnecting people, not only with those who have gone beyond and the wonderful and encouraging messages, but also with themselves and their legacy and heritage. The human mind is truly a beast that wants to feed every second of the day with or without our inner world. Through our understanding that how it works, we can shape it into something that can work for or against us. With that, it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next week as you go beyond with me.